Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you a little trick in Microsoft Edge that is going to allow you to save web content as you're planning or preparing for a topic. Now let's jump into the Microsoft Edge browser and dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now I have my Edge browser open and let's imagine that I'm planning a session about computer science and coding in the early years. So we're talking about very young children. Well, the first thing I'll do is I'll research this topic. So let's just do that right now. I'm going to type in coding in early years. And we're going to search for a number of different articles, websites and information. Now here, I already have my first one. So let's open that up in a new tab. And let's just randomly open up the first couple of results. Now, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm not going to verify the information on these websites, but I highly recommend that you do whenever you are doing any type of research online. So we've got two websites up there. We've got this first one, and then we have the following. Now, what I want to do is I want to save these in a single place that is accessible from my computer, but also from my mobile device or any other device I have access to and collections in Edge will allow you to do that. Now, where can you find collections? Well, here at the top, you will notice that there are three dots. So we're going to click on those three dots and then find collections. Now, once you've opened up your collections, you can start adding your websites to your collection. So let's add this website into my collection. I'm going to click on add current page. And here on the right hand side, I can now select this item. This allows me to make a duplicate or even share it with others. So here you can see I can share this, delete this or copy it. I'm not going to select it right now, but I am going to add a little note. So let's just add a note for myself. Review the website content. There we go. This is just a note for myself to remember and that is added into my collection as well. Now, as I curate more content, so there we go. We have another website. I'm going to add that page as well. It's right there. Now I have a note and two websites added to my collection. Next, I'm going to look at what I can do with this collection now. So now that we've selected all three items, we can send them out. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to click on that share button and we can choose to send it to Excel, OneNote, Word or Pinterest. I'm going to send it to OneNote. So let's go ahead and click on OneNote. And here we have the choices of different notebooks that we can send it to. I'm going to send it to my planning for coding topic. Now I can click on that drop down item and then see all the different sections, but this is an empty notebook at the moment. So let's just go ahead and select this. I'm going to click on save. And there you go. All the items have been sent to that OneNote. OneNote opens up the notebook in a separate tab. And you can see the content that has been sent there. Now I'm going to take these three items two websites and a note and I'm going to send them to a Word document. So let's go ahead and send this to Word. It's going to send all the information in those three items to a Word document. It opens up a new tab and this is now called newcollections.docx. It is automatically putting the links in that document and I can now continue to work with this document. It's a great way of creating a hyper document from links that you've already curated prior to opening up this document. Now, I really like how easy it is to use the Microsoft Edge collections built into the browser to quickly curate some information and maybe some websites that you then would like to use in your documentation or planning. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel let me know in that comment section below. Are you using the Microsoft Edge browser? Why have you chosen to use that browser? And maybe why aren't you using it? What would you like to see coming to this browser? And what else are you looking forward to learning? Now, I'd love to hear more about what you think. In the meantime, watch one of the other suggested videos on this channel. I hope to see you again next time. And I thank you for watching.